Yeah, right. I'm saying, well, okay. why did Carmen lie? I reached out. Somebody took her tweet and made it something else. That's the internet. Y'all know better. Got it. Go ahead. Okay. So when Maddie first said that she was going to reach out to Carmen and then Carmen tweeted that tweet, I automatically put two and two together, which that was my fault. I apologize because I'm thinking that Carmen seen the live because the way she said that she was going to reach out to Carmen was as if she was hurting Corey. And it's like, wait, hold on. Don't use me as a get back. If you got an issue with that dude, then have an issue with that dude, but don't make me a part of y'all problem. I know y'all going to be mad at me, but I'm still side eyeing the situation because Maddie is still trying to get back with Corey. And if they do get back together, then what? That's why if I'm I'm Carmen, I don't want no parts of this. This is my reality. This is that man is my family now. So, with that being said, oh, I'm in it. Oh, we here. We are all the way the fuck here. Okay, so now when the family get back together, where do Carmen and her kids stand? Because Maddie is over here telling you everything that happened, but she was there for all of this stuff happening. You can't sit there and be there for the crime, and then when somebody cross you, now you're ready to throw them under the bus. But you was there for the crime. So now what? And then on top of that, you got Corey showing messages saying that you want to get back with him, but then you're on live showing text messages that Carmen was right about him pulling a out on her why would you want to keep texting a dude that you want to get back with him and make the family work if this is the case she showed an old text message between Corey and carmen which this is Corey's old phone her phone broke so Corey gave her his phone Corey says this is your fault remember that you did this to me you caused this and then carmen responded it's always my fault i'm used to it but go ahead and do what you have to do i mean i prepared myself for this too this isn't the first time you react like this and i never put anything past you the reason why i stopped feeling secure god's seeing everything so trust i won't feel guilty matter of fact you caused this you and your stupid actions want to pull a gun out on your wife actions push me here remember and then maddie apology to carmen says okay i'm sorry for ever disrespecting you it was never my intentions behind closed doors i defended you but as you know cj works his moves to convince a person they're tripping none of that justifies my actions i truly do wish you healed and i hope i do the same hey i saw your message now is gone but thank you take care carmen responded she said it's draining mentally and emotionally i can't tell you how to heal or move on but of course do anything that helps you mentally and keep you distracted from him and his his actions if you have to cry cry it out whatever works for you to relieve the pain and the heavy chest you feel do it because his actions doesn't have an ending unfortunately to say i really hate this i really do but once again ask god to guide you let this be an eye opener for the things that only you know it opens your eyes to you're strong and at the end of the day no one deserves this at all that was carmen's response to maddie y'all leave y'all comments down below let me know what y'all thinking when it comes to that carmen was crying during her performance of her third song that she just dropped loose to win Definitely proud of Carmen that she found something that made her happy, which is writing and producing and a little bit of singing. She was doing a little something over there, <laughs> but I am proud of her. The link to her song is down below. Definitely go check that out. Now, Queen Aja tweet, send this to a good girl that's fed up. And then Queen retweeted someone's tweet that says, baby, we sending it to you. And Queen said, oop. Now, yesterday I said Queen is the queen of marketing, but I also was thinking about what Mod said in his recent video because he posted up like a week after that whole anniversary video. And he said this. Y'all don't, don't realize that like that shit affects this in the household. Like keep your opinions to your self. Now I'm not saying Queen and Clarence is breaking up, but it does seem like it's a little trouble in paradise, which I hope if there is a problem, they do go to counseling and work through that because Clarence is a good dude. You know, despite all the hate he get, he is a stand up guy. I'm team Clarence all the way. Y'all leave y'all comments down below. Let me know what y'all thinking when it comes to that. Let me know if I'm wrong for this. Like that. So my son, y'all know, I don't know, some of y'all may be familiar with my son, Chris. But like he get older to a point where he keep asking me for money, which is cool. Sunday he asked me for some money, right? For V-Bucks and whatnot, right? So this is my son. He said, hey daddy, can I get some money for V-Bucks? Now I was gonna send it to him, but the part that got me, he said, I'm gonna pay you back. And in my mind, I'm like, how you gonna pay me back? You don't work, you, you play the game all day, you sit at home, you go to school, you come back. So how you gonna pay me back? But I, I just looked it over, like, I, so I sent him the bread. So then I text him today, right? I'm like, what you doing? He like, nothing much. How about you? So in my head, I'm like, okay, he ain't think about my money. So I text him like, yo, where my money at? You feel me? Because you said you was gonna pay me back. He said, oh yeah, about that. Y'all see that? Oh yeah, about that. So I'm looking at my phone. So I'm like, LOL, if you don't have my money in two days, I'm gonna have to come find you. Like, I'm not playing. Like, first of all, anybody who owe me money, I'm not. I'm not giving out money no more because motherfuckers will, will give you money. I mean, you would lend out money and then they get mad when you ask for it back. Like, I'm confused. So then, bro, go say, so don't you have a million dollars? And I don't care how much money I have. If I give you some money, pay me back. That's all I want. You feel me? 
Like, so then I said to them the voice and I'm like, bro, I don't care about how much money I got. Just pay me back, twin. Like, that's all you got to do. He's going to say some he, he, he. Okay, I'll get a bank account and pay you. So am I wrong for, like, asking for my money back? Like, let me know. I don't care how much it was. Like, but if you say you're going to pay me back, nobody save kids, mom, dad, family members. Like, I need my bread back. I'm tired of people. I'm tired of people borrowing money and not giving it back. Previously, I reported that BJTV, Jalen, and Carter was beefing because supporters were accusing Jalen and Carter of copying off of BJTV. First, BJTV was wearing wigs, and now Jalen and Carter is wearing wigs. So Jalen and Carter wanted to clear up the drama. Here's what they had to say. Echoing the same narratives that they used to say back then to them, trying to convince them that we're a problem, that we're an issue, that we're weird, and this, that, and the third one. None of them ever, we never linked. Never met them. Never Never met them or anything like it's like they're recruiting people not to like us we was hoping that this one particular couple will have their own backbone and uh, their own a mind brain for, themselves. Right, for themselves and see for themselves but sadly that wasn't the case because they allow our haters to get to them and try to convince them that we don't like them or there's an issue when we have never said that and to the people that's like well I don't think that's true well here's the video so you know I be hearting their story and shit like that so he had, um, okay, so he had posted one day and was like, um, we don't have to do, we don't have to, um, we I, didn't blow up a, after we pranks. We didn't blow up after pranks. We don't have to, we don't have to do pranks to go viral. He had posted that on his story. So I had, um, um, sent it to Jameson and was like, you think this shady? Y'all know I'm talking to my man but before I go in about yesterday. Yeah. I said, you think this shady? It was like a while ago. Yeah, I and said then, no. I don't think because like... He was like, I don't long. know. I don't know. But and then know. when they made their podcast thing on, on, on that channel or whatever, when they was doing that, they still was saying like a whole bunch of like shady, shady shit. shit that like, it like looked like it was for us. But then we was like... Like it wasn't directed. It was never di directed. Like last night. Never like was last night. It never was direct. Mind you, all of this is before the wig drama. They already thought there was an issue before the wig drama. Just piecing mm -hmm. things together that wasn't about them. Saying that we posted stories and stuff like that. Exactly. And they thought it was about them when it actually... It wasn't about them. Me saying your fave, your fave, your fave didn't originate with them. It originated when we first started. Mm -hmm. Because when we first came out, people was like, it was oh... a whole bunch of people faves. Exactly. It was all on our jock talking shit about exactly. us. Exactly. Y'all so will never be this, y'all will never be that. So when we did outgrow all of them, it was, oh, we're better than your fate. What happened? You know what I'm saying? I thought crickets. we weren't going to do this. Crickets, crickets, crickets. But I guess they felt like we was talking about them in particular. I feel like it was very weird of them to come onto the scene and just go with what the next bitch say than other than finding out yourselves. If you right, felt like there was a... Us. Right, if you felt like there was a problem, you could have easily messaged us and be like, is there an issue? Is there any type of animosity? You know? Right, and we would have right, told you there's no animosity. You literally said you followed us. even know that you was following us. That's the thing. But you said that you followed us or whatever. You could have easily sent me a message. I would have went through my messages and responded. It would have never been an issue. Hey, right. We don't collab with anybody. Exactly. We don't want to We was actually anybody. open to it. We was open to that at one point, but that now door is, that door is closed. Whoa. 